Welcome to One Step Past. I'm Bucky Wild, and this is Action Heroes of History, Dean Mason Salt. This is an incredible true life action story that has been largely forgotten through the sands of time until now. When it first happened in early April 1941, this brave act got a bit of press. Since then, life happened, time marched on, and the amazing events of this story got put on the back burner in the public consciousness. But now, with the help of me, your past master, we can return to that time and relive the adventure. It was about 8.30 on a school morning in Salt Lake City, Utah. A street department was busy at work near the corner of the even busier 9th, South, and 11th East Streets. There was a lot of traffic. Cars were on their way to work. Buses were taking kids to school. The sidewalks were thick with children. There was also a lot of activity around the University of Utah. Dean Mason Salt, a steamroller operator, was just two blocks east of this busy scene atop one of the city's steepest hills. Normally, no one freaks out at the sight of a steamroller. However, in just a few moments, Salt's steamroller would become 12 tons of rolling death for anyone unfortunate to cross its path. As usual, Salt put the gear shift into reverse. This time was different because the gears failed to mesh. In an instant, it was Armageddon. The scared steamroller man set the brakes, but the heavy machine had already gained too much momentum down the steep grade. He was about to enter the mix of cars, buses, and children. Solt had children of his own, ten as a matter of fact. The youngest was six months and the oldest was fifteen. The runaway steamroller was coming towards a school bus coming up the hill. As much as Salt really wanted to jump clear of the steamroller, he knew he couldn't. Too many innocent people would get hurt or killed. So he stood on the brake. It wasn't doing much good, but it was all he could do. At this point, the steamroller was going 60 miles per hour. At the last possible split second, the heavy traffic seemed to untangle itself, and he whizzed right past everything. He was not out of danger yet, and neither was anyone else. Salt kept looking for a way to stop his runaway steamroller. His original idea was to crash it into a fire station. That plan was foiled when he saw the sidewalk in front of that fire station was full of kids. Instead, he decided to run it into a steel utility pole. The angry roller snapped the pole like a toothpick. At the same moment, Salt jumped from the mechanical beast. The roller overturned and plowed up nine feet of the street like a farmer's field. Salt landed quite a ways from the crash site. Amazingly, nothing was broken. His right leg was bruised and sprained as well as his back. Salt was still pretty beat up, but he crawled to the steamroller and closed the shutoff valve to the high pressure fuel tank. At least there wasn't going to be any worry of an explosion. After this event, Dean Mason Salt had even more children. He passed away on December 16, 1960, just two weeks after his 58th birthday and nearly 20 years after his fantastic steamroller adventure. Salt was just a regular guy, doing what he had to do to protect people from danger. Thankfully, his quick thinking and selfless actions kept anyone else from getting hurt. It is qualities like these that make a true action hero of history. And now we come back to the present. Thank you very much for watching. If you like what you've seen, subscribe, leave comments. I'm also open to any suggestions. Do you know of a real action hero from history that you'd like me to talk about? If so, tell me.